Good morning. Old man winter does not want to let go. It is snowing out, but it is cold and raw. Every year I always tell myself this flip-flop weather, we're gonna get like a spring and then it's gonna turn back into winter. It's gonna happen, but I can never be prepared for it. I'm always like, yes, the sun's out, it feels so good. And then it gets back into this cold, snowy weather and dreary. It's like, oh man, I knew it was gonna happen, but I still don't like it. I don't know if anybody else feels that way or not, but I do. Good morning, ladies. The goats don't wanna get out either. coming out girls come on you know you want to <laughs> like yeah no we're good we're gonna stay right here in the door I don't know if you can see them and sleep all right I don't blame you come on and hope you coming out you gonna lead the pack she's like mm. All right. Well, I had both the kittens, but they're both doing really good. You wouldn't even know that anything happened. Huh. Actually, they might actually be even more friendlier, if you can believe that. Can you say that way? Will you always love us? Oh, I guess not. The hay's over at the feeder. Look at it. Spring's got to be here because they're losing their winter coat. I know. Where is it? What happened? Hopefully we'll be able to get these stairs done, but there's a process. We still gotta get some paint on the walls real quick. I wore a good sweatshirt, so I don't think I can help today. Mm. Sweatshirts come off pretty easy. Mm. I really think I need to keep it on. And then, so we'll be able to get the flooring out. We're gonna see what we have. Hopefully we have enough. Hello. Oh, looks like a pretty... Cat bed. <laughs> Dusty. A little bit. Watch out, Arlo. All right, we'll take out this thing. We need more tomorrow. We'll grab them out then. I don't want to take them all out and put them back in. So that'll get us started. Definitely think we have more than enough. So hopefully. Now what are you doing? We gotta cover up the floor so you don't make a mess when you're painting. Well, that's not making me want to go out. You don't want to go out? We got to go out and check on the tent in a little bit. Arlo doesn't mind. I know you're pretty messy when you paint, so we gotta better cover up the real one. Arlo, you need to not do that. We need that, buddy. We need that. Thank you. I'm hoping the paint is still fresh enough we don't have to repaint like the whole wall. We can just go to where we need to go down here and that'll blend in over there still. I guess we will find out. Why, would that be an issue? Yeah. Oh. So we might Ugh. have to move that desk after and just go over to that corner and 
like up. So we're gonna be the first to go. So I took my sweatshirt off and I put on my PVD enhance, so I guess I'll help. I really want to, but I also want to get this project, this part of the project done so I can see how nice our stairs are gonna be when they're done. I'm really excited about that. And I'm thinking it's gonna help keep it a lot cleaner because it's gonna be nice and smooth and not stick to the to the wood and everything. Let's see. Look how blue it looks. Mm -hmm. They call this color silver leaf. It's not. Carefully don't fall down the stairs. Try not to. And don't paint those black. I know. Don't burn on the brush after. Uh, I'm gonna go grab a wet rag and maybe I'll just be the behind cleanup crew. Maybe I don't have to paint. You will. Somebody's gotta do the brush behind here. How we make our cold brew. Take our beans. I do two third cups coffee beans in our rumble jar. And then in the fridge it goes for 24 hours. All right, so we need to go check on the canvas wall tent because we've left it up. We want to take it down, but when we got done camping, it was all covered in snow and we need to let it dry. And then we got about at least eight inches of snow yesterday. So we want to make sure it's still in good shape. We plan on taking it down. And at some point we want to build a platform out there to have a platform to put it back up on. A lot of people mentioned how come you took your doors and stuff off. We can't see out of them. We, nope. In our windshield, we can't see out of them. So that's where you took them off and we haven't put them on. Right now, my butt is a little bit cold because I'm sitting in a little bit of snow. First sign of animal tracks across in here and then there. I was just thinking we hadn't seen any in the whole ride up here. You can and see they're the, close to the tent. Right. And the tent is still standing. That's a bonus.
Doing good. Ready to spend the night? I'm ready. You ready? Get the fire going and right take, now. Take a nap. Yeah, why not? Okay. Maybe a little bit later. So I don't know if I did say or not, but I truly did have a good time tenting. I don't want to do it every night. It was fun. Maybe do it every other night. Every other night or something like that. I don't know. I need to have a little bit more sleep. I think it was just really windy. And then I hear people talking about the different animals. So I was a little bit spooked, I guess, a little. But it wasn't like a sleep, like, oh, my gosh, I'm exhausted. It was more like, I don't know, like an exciting I can't sleep. I don't know. But we had a good time. You going to take a nap? That's the chimney all up. I know, but we'll keep the tent from collapsing. I do have on order a cover to go over the canvas, but unfortunately they're back ordered. So it'll be a little while before that comes in. This is the snow we were expecting, like November, December, January, maybe, maybe February. should be good i know you're all looking at me and saying i love her hat i love her hat and her hair looks crazy <sighs> must be spring fever done anything and I'm like why haven't I thought of that sooner that's me today I'm like why haven't I thought of it sooner to load up the bucket of the TYM tractor with firewood like once every five days and just leave it down by the wood boiler instead of coming up twice a day to the pile and getting a handful yeah wish I would have thought of that at the beginning of the season and not at the end but I'm glad I thought of it now. It is so much nicer having the firewood right here by the outdoor wood boiler. I do plan on building a wood shed, but not right now. So this is working out perfect. I want to thank Husk Knife for sponsoring today's video. Husk Knife makes this high quality stainless steel Japanese inspired knife. This is great for the kitchen and for the outdoors. One of the things I really like about this Husk Knife is it has a full tang. So when you're out camping and hiking, you can bring this with you and you can get a leather sheath for it. But the full tang is nice. I'll show you in a minute after I cut up some vegetables. I want to show you guys how sharp this knife is. Bam, bam. This husk knife just cuts up everything so nicely. It just slices this clean through, makes it a pleasure to do your chopping with. And I just love how it's nature inspired with the natural wood. It's got a slit here in the back. So if you want to put a lanyard on it and you want to have it strapped somewhere, you can. You can have it tied to your backpacking bag so you're not going to lose it. I mean, you can just cut up everything you need. Oh, it smells delicious. So good. What I was saying before, one of the things I really like about this knife is it has a full tang. So if you're camping and hiking and you don't want to bring out a bunch of different equipment with you, or say you're hiking and you only bring 
a knife and you get into a situation that you're gonna end up having to stay longer overnight for, you can always use this knife for chopping. With it being a high quality steel full tang, you don't have to worry about beating on it because it's gonna take the abuse. It is sharp. I can make my kindling with it too. So if I'm out stuck on the trail, and I got my husk knife, we're good to go. Didn't even chip anything. Look at that. Right now, Husk is offering our viewers 70% discount. It's not gonna last long. You can also trust Husk. They're giving you a 30-day money-back guarantee. This offer's not gonna last long, so click our link in the video description down below to get 70% off. Thanks, Husk, for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's get on with the video. The walls are all dry and they came out a lot nicer than I thought they were going to. Everything blended in nicely so we don't have to go and paint the wall all the way to the end, which is nice. So now we gotta figure out our stair treads. We have everything here. I just wanna get a measurement to get our first bullnosing cut. So 41 and 3 eighths. This is part of the project that I'm getting excited about that I've been waiting for is to get the flooring on the stairs, get the bull nosing. I have no idea what it entails, what it's going to end up. I know it's going to end up looking good at the end, but I don't know what it entails. I don't know how long it's going to take. I think everything should not take long, but it's a process. Everything is a process. So when we ordered our flooring, I ordered the nose stair tread pieces. I was hoping to get a one piece tread out of vinyl flooring, but I couldn't find any. So we went with this. Curious to see how this stuff's going to cut. Make that cut pretty good. Yes, I like it. All right, let's go get one of these put in place, see what we think, then we'll start cutting some flooring and get everything just kind of temporarily put in place to see how we like it. I think I came up with a game plan for these stairs. I'm thinking the best bet's gonna be is get all the rises done. And then once those are all done and glued in place and dried, then we can start with the treads and then we can do the nose pieces. So let me get the first riser piece cut. We're gonna have to rip all of those down. Alright, so that will go like so. 
and our nose piece will cover it. That'd be nice. I think it's a little bit more time consuming doing it with the flooring, but it's gonna make it a lot easier for cleanup. So in the future, while these stairs are dirty, it'd be a lot easier to sweep and to wash down. That's why I like doing this. And then if we do this with real wood, it just gets beaten up, I feel like. With like your toe is always hitting this. If you have white pine, you get scuffed up and damaged. So this will help all that. You want some loving, huh? What's the matter? What's the matter? All right, so being a poured concrete floor, it's not completely flat. So I'm gonna scribe fit this piece and then hand and then free cut it out on the table saw. So that way we have a nice line. Cut a piece an inch and an eighth wide. Then we can get that top gap filled. Are you just taking a nap? Yep, nice warm floor. The heat's running. A lot of people ask us about our radiant flooring and we do love it and it is nice and warm. It, it makes you just feel more relaxed, I don't know. Yeah, we're spoiled. I don't think we'd ever do a house again without radiant heat because it's just nice and cozy, especially in our winters. Yes. You're always walking around on warm floors. When we went to the Airbnb, that's one thing I did notice right away. When we took our shoes off, we had cold floors. I'm like, man, we were spoiled with the radiant heat. You know the animals love when you're down like that. They sure do. Right, Tammy? All right, that will work. So now we're just gonna take it out and we're gonna glue it on. I have some spray adhesive tack glue. We're gonna spray it on the back of the floor and then we'll spray it on the wood that we have on the steer. We'll see how that holds it. All right, let's give this a try. High strength. High mm -hmm. strength. I wanna make sure that this works good with one step before we get everything cut and figured out to do this, and then it's not the way to do it. So this being contact cement, once you push it on there to each other, it should pretty much instantly bond. All right, that fits. So now we just need to glue it. That looks really good. It's gonna, I think it'll look so sharp once we're all done. And they're just gonna be so easy to keep clean. It's like a pain to do right now but in the long run, it's gonna pay off. It's 
sticky. It is. It's tacky, but that's what we want. So I ended up doing a 45 bevel right here. So we'll have to put these two pieces together. So that way, when they come together, they meet at a corner and you just see the finished where before this piece would have been left out, you would have seen a white edge and then we would have had to do something to cover that up. So we'll have to, I'll do, when I cut this edge, I'll do it a 45 also so that way they meet up nicely. A little bit more work, but it'll look a lot better in the long run. It should slide in like so, like that. And then the other piece will come to a, to a point. So I needed to have this cut so I know how long to make the next one. That's it for that can. Oh no. Now you can figure out which one you like better. All right, that's why I got two different brands to figure out if one works better than the other. You can just open the doors, take your leaf blower, and blow out all the dust bunnies. I feel like you just read my mind. So easy. Yes, I always joke when we were building and had the garage door that I was gonna take my leaf blower out and just dust everything. And I might, I might. So stay tuned for a nice weather video where the garage door opens and if you see some stuff flying out, it's probably me doing some spring cleaning, some dust bunny removal. All right. 
one more done. Before you run out? Yeah. I was hoping for two more, but I don't see it happening. You should know anything with you and glue or something that's gonna make something stay on that you need way more than you think. Yeah, are you even gonna be able to finish this one? Yeah, I'll just finish this one. You want me to get my glue gun out? I think you're gonna have to. All right, we ran out of the spray glue that we were using. I got two cans and we got halfway done with the treads, a little bit more than halfway, and we're gonna have to, or the rises, we still need some for the treads. So I'm gonna pick up probably like six cans. I'm gonna run out to go to the chiropractor anyway, so we're gonna do all that now. 